What's up, YouTubes? You know what we got? We got music somehow. Oh, burst in my bubble. What is that? 10 seconds into the vid. Not liking how this video is starting off. Hopefully things will improve for us uh, as we got trade cards coming out the wazoo. Got all technologies researched. And you know who's going down today? The Western Romans are going down today. So I'm going to use these P-Turds with, mixed with the Long Swordsman combo. It's a little bit of a weird combo, and especially with the fire and the Long Swordsman colored in yellow, I really can't tell what is what. Is it fire? Is it my Long Swordsman? I'm not really sure. But that confusion is gone because the archery range is gone too. And this barracks will be down with it in a second as well. Stable, I know you produce some scout cavalry. Not a lot. Pikeman for my side, really not going to be useful because you don't produce any light cavalry, unfortunately. So long swordsman, there you are. I'm gonna produce some Tarkins. Too bad we can't produce our Hun commanders, our cocky son of a mothers and Hun commanders. But we can't produce any more of those guys because we all know there's only one Hun commander in this world, and he is the only one Hun commander that I own. So I believe they have a dock and a fishing ship that is their only source of resources. Um, where did I set the rally point? Oh man, you look at that range. Just monstrous range. Out of the out of the city range is like what I like to call it. It's, they say in basketball, parking lot range. Well, that's this behemoth. That's how you describe this behemoth. And uh, I don't believe if they include the monastery. Um, oh, you're an idle villager. Get to work, my friend. Got lazy, lazy villagers picking their noses, picking a wedgie, whatever picking you want to say. And the Scythians are back at it again. Those docks will be down soon. I don't believe they do any more production um, as far as buildings because they can't be having much success in the resource department when they don't have villagers coming out of this gate. All I see is fishing ships getting food. There's no wood in there, obviously, because that is whatever that is, Baghdad. I'm not sure. What's the capital? Persia? Oh, yeah, it doesn't exist anymore. What do you call it, Iraq? And I'm not too sure, but Iraq's having its own problems right now. And I apologize if any of you from Iraq and have some uh, nationalism towards that country. And you have a right to, but uh, Persia, not doing too good because it doesn't exist. Iraq, not doing too good. Is it because you don't have Sennacherib anymore? Or is it because you're not called Assyria? Well, uh, that's your own problem. And I'm going to leave it there because Western Romans have a problem too. This monastery is going down. Turkins, um, yes, Black Magic, thank you. I, I can't remember if it was Crappy Ice that said this to me. Definitely Black Magic. I mean, your torches are like an eternal flame. Uh, they're continually burning. Is that possible? No, I don't believe that's possible. Apparently, you say it is possible. And uh, I'm not going to uh, destroy that guy because I actually want to use that market for my own. Um, and I maybe want to use the dock too, but I think I have to destroy the dock, unfortunately. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to send a couple more, a uh, couple more of these guys down here, and I believe we can utilize this market for our own. It says 100 gold, uh, which is a pretty good trade-off, if you ask me. Um, and we're going to check on our idle villagers. All right, you're doing good. All right, we're going to check out where the, some gold is. Put a mining camp down, and that will suit you for a couple minutes. Scythians are going to be slow, but they're going to be nice and uh, miraculously elusive from the Persians that don't have any more units coming out of their base. So you, Persians are a non-threat. Uh, this is a really easy first scenario. Uh, as you know, usually first scenarios uh, don't require base building, but this one does, which is quite surprising considering this is considered a, uh, a raiding kind of nomadic uh, faction. So you would think it would be more like a Joan of Arc campaign or uh, a Saladin campaign, definitely. Uh, for the first mission but instead we have to build up our own base and uh, all right put our villagers to work dire wolf dire dire docks maybe no one's a fan of anything with dire in it i mean i don't know many people that are fans of dire dire docks i mean maybe the music puts you to sleep and maybe that's what you put in your uh, recorder at night i'm not really sure what you do but there's one thing i do know and that's dire usually doesn't mean Whatever else is going to be in that word is going to be good. Um, and with that dock gone, I'm really not sure what else is standing for them. So I'm going to take out this market, actually. Um, in actuality, you're not going to have anything to do, trade carts, because uh, it's going to be gone. 
And actually, I'm going to take out this blacksmith first because maybe that market is not triggering it. Maybe they have some units somewhere else on this map that I'm not discovering, uh, which would be a pain. Because I don't want to pull a Shadows X Elite card in the Big Apple and not be able to find my unit that I need to destroy. No, it was Hostile Shore. My bad. Poor reference. And I'm going to stop the trade card production because I'm actually getting somewhat uncomfortably close uh, to need to have some more units. And look it. They don't know what to do. They're still firing on my wall, but they don't know what to do because they can't figure out if this guy's their enemy, if this guy's their friend, or if this guy's what. So I think I'm going to do them a favor in a second. I'm going to take out that gate pretty soon here. Uh, and to do so, we're going to get some more P-Turds. That's what, it's the gloriousness of the P-Turd. I don't feel guilty because it's not illegal. It's obviously part of the game. I'm not exploiting two different discs to get my P-Turd in the Age of Kings. This is in the game. This is programmed in the game. Don't feel guilty, my friends. Use the P-Turd. Exploit it. All right, and we're going to continue raiding on. Destroy this university. Stop their education. Huns don't believe in education. I'm sorry, school boards across the world. Huns don't believe in education. As much as you want to convert them over, uh, like the monk style, you cannot. Huns, Vikings, Scythians, throw that in there. Mongols. I mean, you got a word that is considered an insult, a mo mongrel. I can't really distinguish the two. So a lot of people probably have a misunderstanding and heard someone say mongrel, and they understood that it was an insult, but they thought it said mongol, so they think mongols are imbeciles as well. I'm sorry, I don't know the Mongolian capital, um, but I'm sure there's people there right now. I don't think my network spreads that far, but if you're listening to this in Mongolia somewhere, I'm sure you're pretty pissed off, and I'm pretty pissed off that my villagers aren't helping him out. What a man getting over there. Um, he had a fight with a dire wolf. He killed it, but he doesn't have his friends helping him out. That's why he has 33 hit points right now and not 40. All right, so check out this. Coinage, not worth it. Reduce fee for tributes. We're not playing with an, uh, another human uh, ally, so we're just going to throw that out the window. Don't worry about the crossbowmen. Don't worry about the elite skirmisher. I'd say for pretty much the rest of this campaign. They're more of a cavalry uh, society, faction, whatever. Focus on the Tarkin. Focus on the cavalry archer. And if you got some Mangadaya, thank you, Scythians. Go ahead and use them. All right, so you're going to help these bros out, take out this market. And uh, I'm just going to continue to march on and try to take out these houses because I really can't figure out what the conundrum is and why the Romans have not given up hope yet. Um, and I'm sorry, Trade Cog. Not Trade Cog, Trade Cart. Excuse me. I apologize for that. You have not been. There we go. They are finally defeated. So uh, we can move on to bigger and greater things right now. And uh, I'm going to have them chill out here because I want them somewhat close to the Persians in case some Persian unit sneaks by and I don't want you firing on my P-Turds. If you do, you know who's coming. Cannon Galleons in the Catalonian fields. I know you're not involved at all, but you're obviously an AI enemy. So I'm going to rid of you. I'm going to rid of you. And uh, I'm really not sure what I'm going to do for, uh, what is this, film, I'm recording a lot lately, I'm not sure, I think in the next part, that's all I'm going to say. In the next part, I'm not sure if I'm going to show the attacking of the Persians or not. Not 100% sure on what I'm going to do there. But I, I think you get an understanding of what you got to do. I might just be, I might skip ahead a little bit after this. Um, and once these couple of buildings are taken out on the side, uh, these, these guard towers and those docks, I might um, sneak in a little bit, explore this, and destroy it all in about 8 minutes or so. And have a shorter video of just me de uh, destroying the rest of this Persian camp. And you may get confused and think, oh, because I have the Scythians on my side, that accounts for defeating an enemy. No, you still have to kill, or whatever, just defeat one of, uh, two of the, the remaining ones of the Western Roman Empire and the uh, Persians. So I might cut it in a little bit. So if I say I have to cut it in a couple of minutes, you'll understand why. There's really not much else I can show you in this video. Um, but uh, hopefully you understand what is going on. And, uh, no, you can, are you not going to go through the gate? If you don't go through the gate, I'm going to be eerily, you know, you're going to, I'm going to be pissed off. There's no getting around it. So you bet, all right, all right, screw it. You would be wise to withdraw from our domain. All right, you come out here, Persian Shah, I understand. Conquests elsewhere, Hans. Huns, there's, there's an exclamation point after Huns. I don't know if you read that on the teleprompter or not, but I wanted more emotion out of you. Then that monotone voice, all right? I know that monotone voice, Persian Shah. I know you can skedaddle fast in your four foot zero human body, bearded. Your beard is taller than you. Is that an honor? Some people would say that's pretty cool. 
I would say that's pretty dumb and humiliating if your beard is taller than your body. You want to smack off, Sha. You talk with a normal vice voice. Excuse me. About to call you Viceroy. You're just as useless as the Viceroy from Star Wars. You haven't seen Star Wars? Oh, that's right. This game is taking place in the past, so you're not in the future like I am. I'm ahead of you. I am the successor of the Persian Shah. No, I am Persia. All right, I can't be Persia. I'm omnipresent. I am the Huns and Persia all in one. But you don't know that because you're a Persian Shah. You don't exist anymore. You might as well be an Iraqi and Shah. Oh, wait. Your own society revolted against you. Tore down your statue. I don't know if you're living anymore. I'm sorry. But I got trade cards clogged up here. So you do work and go somewhere else and be useful for once in your life. That's why you're a trade cart driver. You got no other occupation. You didn't go to school. Because you're a hun. I understand that. But you didn't make anything in yourself. Look at what your your friend right here, Villagier, farming away, slaving away. But at least that's honorable. You're sitting on a horse carriage getting more crap every day. I'm sure you're pretty constipated. You're not moving around very much. Alright, well, I don't know what you're talking about. Alright, I'm confused now. Not, I'm not even in your base anymore. Okay, I don't know if that means you're sending units out here, but you got no units to expend because you have no resources in your base. So you're not you're not going up very far. T lower right, right hand corner of the screen. You're not going up very fast. You just got some fishing ships skedaddling around out in the water. I'm going to blow Nessie out of the water here in a couple minutes. Uh aka war galleys. So I recommend getting out of this water. Oh oh my goodness. War galleys are going to scare me. Not very much. I'm sorry. War galleys really don't scare me. Maybe if you threw an elite cannon galley in, in there or a uh, turtle ship, I'd be shaking in my boots a little bit, General Carver. So I'm going to see you guys in the next video. We'll be getting going on with whatever we got remaining.